Castle Panic's an interesting game in the fact that it's uh, co-op instead of uh, multiplayer. Uh, your normal versus where everybody's trying to win. In this one, it's uh, one to six players and you're trying to beat the game itself. Especially, especially cool because you have the one player option where you can actually play the game by yourself. Um, it's more fun with more people. Um, some of the extra mechanics only come in in a multiplayer game, but it has a lot of cool ideas. We'll open up and uh, show you what it's like. Alright, so there's the basics of the game. Uh, it's kind of set up here. You have your nice rule book. It's oversized. It, explain, it does a really good job of explaining everything. Um, there's even a couple optional rules and things in there. You have a couple copies of this order of play card which shows you the order the turns proceed in. That's also printed down here on the corners, opposite corners, and then the other opposite corners have the special rules which are also on the last page of the rule book which explain uh, how to deal with certain special things that pop up during the game. Um, the main thing here is these tokens. I didn't bother to get them all out but I will get a couple out just to show. And these are the monsters that are basically attacking your castle. They have an interesting mechanic for this game. As you put the token down like this, with the uh, number here pointing towards the castle, and then as they take damage, you turn this. Now it has two hit points, then it has one hit point, and then it dies. And then there's different traps, like the giant boulder, which rolls through until it hits something, or uh, a plague that kills off a certain type of card that the players use to defend the castle. Now you see the game is um, split up into three different sections. There's a blue, a red, and a green section here. And there's different rings. You have the forest ring with the numbers here, and then archer, knight, and swordsman. These are the corresponding cards that the players need in order to hurt a monster in those. And the monsters will come into play out here on the outer ring. You roll randomly to see where they come on future turns. But you just, they're going to come on like this. And then at the end of a player's turn, they will move up one. And the next player will go. And uh, during your turn, you're going to have a handful of cards. And these do different things. You have things like fortifying the wall. And there's a little token I forgot to get out. But it hooks on the wall and lets it take an extra hit. Um, drawing extra cards. And then things like the swordsman and the archers can attack things in their specific color, or in this archer's case, any color. And that would let you uh, do one damage to a monster that's out there. So you have this goblin out here in archer range. You could use your archer card, which would do him one damage. And since he only has one hit point, it would kill him. And the idea is you want to kill everything in this entire bag um, before your castle gets destroyed. And how the castle gets destroyed is when you eventually get monsters that are up here. They will do one damage to themselves, but they will also take out a section of the castle. And you have this outer ring, and you have the inner ring, and once they're gone, that's it. There are cards like brick and mortar that when played together will allow you to rebuild one of those walls. And things like fortification that lets you make an extra, or take an extra hit on the walls. It's a really fun game. It plays really quickly. Um, the thing I like about it is that it's everyone working together. You can trade your cards with other players for a combo that they might need an archer on their turn and you might need a swordsman on your turn so you can trade one. And you're all working together for a common goal. So it's good to play with the kids because there's no competition. It's you all win together or you all lose together. So I like that aspect of it. Um, it's a lot of fun. We, we've played it several times. And uh, always seem to everybody always seems to enjoy it. So check it out.